Hi guys. On today's show, we're going to show you how to add HDMI to your radio so you can screen share your phone. Stay tuned. So would you agree one of the most common questions we get is how to display your phone on your radio? Yes, 100%. And there's really no easy way to do it depending on what type of phone you have. Correct. I mean, and there's definitely no inexpensive way to do it. No, definitely no. it's not. However, you can do it and we're going to talk to you about how to do it today. Today we have an AVH-201EX from Pioneer. And this really doesn't matter on the fact that we're using the 201EX. It matters on what it has on it that you need to have access to so that you can do it. We're gonna turn around this radio and we're gonna show you that. Now on the back of this radio, it has an auxiliary AV input. And it's that AV input that makes this work. AV means audio video. Unlike a conventional style headphone jack that has three stripes, an AV cord is going to have four. And that that's for the extra video channel. So a three stripe will have left and right and shield, a four will have left, right, video and shield. Now as long as your radio has an aux AV input, you'll be able to make this happen. Now let's look at the cables you're going to need. Now the cables you're going to need is where a lot of the, ugh, this isn't working comes from. Correct. And the reason why is because if you go onto Amazon, you're going to find a ton of these cables that have the four stripe that we're talking about and little RCAs hanging off of them. Most of them don't work or don't work in the capacity that you're trying to have them work. So for example, like this little cool pigtail right here, it doesn't work at all. You could cut it apart and resolder it and get it to work, but none of these do what this radio is looking for. You have this guy right here. As you notice, we put some shrink wrap on him. This guy works, however, the video and the right speaker are backwards simply by switching those and this all of a sudden works. If you want one that's gonna work every time, Kenwood makes this guy right here. And it's the CAC3AV. This guy is designed to work with these radios. It's pinned right, the RCAs are in the right location, and it's also got female jacks instead of these that all have male jacks. Now, what we're going to do is we're just gonna plug this into that aux jack in the back, just like that. And that's it. That's what we need to do behind the radio. Now, we're not done yet. We still have just AV jacks here, and last I checked, these won't plug into a phone. We need to be able to get some form of HDMI into these cables. And the reason why we have to do HDMI is because most phone manufacturers, if not all, they have removed the analog outs on their devices. iPod's done it, Samsung's done it, LG's done it. Most Android phones have done it. There's no analog out anymore. And that is why we need an HDMI. And for that, we're going to use this guy right here. It's the Media Links, the ISHD01. And what that simply has is an HDMI on one end and a set of male RCAs on the other. So, as you can guess, all we have to do is plug these guys in like this. Now we are set. We have an HDMI input for our radio. Now, this is where it gets tricky, believe it or not. Depending on the phone you have, you're going to need a different device for each one. iPhone has their device. The new Samsung 8 has its device. Oh, so. This Media Links here cable also works for other Samsungs as well as some Android phones. LG has their own. So you're going to need to check and find out if your phone has a cable to get HDMI out. Usually it looks like the phone jack on the end to go to an HDMI. For example, the new Galaxy S8 uses this guy. This is a USB-C to HDMI adapter. However, because it's Samsung, it's specific to their phone. You can't just go buy a generic USB-C to HDMI and have it work. The Apple cable, you have to buy the Apple cable. It won't work otherwise. If you get a third-party knockoff, it's not gonna work. Check and make sure that you have the right cable to do this. The other thing too is that taking your car apart and putting these parts in, that could be a major ordeal. So before you get this far into here, make these cables up and plug them into your TV. You don't necessarily need to plug the aux guy in, but on the back of your TV, you do have some RCAs that you can plug this into and plug your dedicated cable into and make sure that your phone screen shares before you get out in your car and have, you're in a really tight space and it's hard to work. So to demo how this works, we're gonna go ahead and use our iPhone with our lightning adapter. Go ahead and plug it in. Come over to the radio and select the aux. Now, on most radios, there's some kind of an okay screen 
that has to do with the emergency brake wire. So make sure that that is engaged. Select OK. And now we can see the phone. Depending on the phone you have, it may auto rotate, it may not. Now we're just seeing the phone. It doesn't actually do anything. But from here, we can watch and listen to anything that is on the phone. That's right, let me say it again. You can watch and listen to anything that is on the phone. It doesn't matter. Whatever video streaming source you have, you'll hear it and you'll see it. If you want to do some form of a navigation system mm -hmm. on here, that's perfectly fine too. You can do that. The one thing you have to keep in mind though is that the source you're listening to is your phone. If you have that map system up on here, you can't listen to the FM radio. You're going to have to listen to a music source off your phone, which shouldn't be a big deal. Correct. Correct. So there you go. That's how you get an HDMI input into your radio and then depending on the phone you have, get that cable and you'll be in business. There you go. End the show, Fernando. All right. If you like this video, please subscribe, share, like. You know where you find us. Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, also in Twitter. You guys have a great night as always. We will see you later next time. Bye. All right. So there you go. That's the new 201 EX. It's got a ton more features. Yes. The EQ is, is definitely improved. You finally get some color selection. Yeah. Not bad. It's definitely feature packed for the price point that it's at.